A senior army officer has been appointed Queensland's flood recovery coordinator as the scale of the disaster continues to become clearer. Key points, Major General Elwood says his first job will be to speak to people on the ground. Major General Elwood says his first job will be to speak to people on the ground Defence Minister Peter Dutton said he was a fantastic appointment. Defence Minister Peter Dutton said he was a fantastic appointment more than 15,000 property damage assessments have been conducted across southeast Queensland. Deputy Premier Stephen Miles said more than 15,000 property damage assessments had now been conducted across southeast Queensland. He said of those, 1,778 had severe damage and 2,430 were found to have moderate damage. Mr. Miles said the state government was helping provide emergency housing for displaced flood victims. The Department of Housing has worked through short-term accommodation options so that largely involves the use of hotels and they have leases across a range of hotels in the affected communities, Mr. Miles said. They will then work with individuals to determine more appropriate medium-term options as their accommodation either gets repaired or they find alternatives. There have been 560 homes and businesses affected in Ipswich alone. Housing Minister Lee Enoch said more than 20,000 homes in Brisbane were flooded in last week's disaster, with many left uninhabitable. Ms Enoch told ABC Radio Brisbane, residents who could not return home were being put up in 54 hotels and motels. We're seeing about 421 households impacted, so that adds up to about 942 people, Ms Enoch said. We are utilising hotel and motel accommodation providers to be able to support people who need housing. We've got the capacity to be able to support people through this really tough time. She said those in need should contact the community hubs, the Community Recovery Hotline or the Housing Service Centre. Speaking from Goodna, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk said 560 homes and businesses had been inundated in Ipswich and 40 people remained in the local evacuation centre. There is a big impact in this region, it's absolutely overwhelming to see people's lives basically on the streets, she said. She said the end of COVID-19 hotel quarantine meant more hotel rooms were available across the southeast. Army officer takes on huge job of flood disaster recovery coordinator. Anastasia Palaszczuk speaks to army personnel in Goodna. Ms. Palaszczuk announced the appointment of Major General Jake Elwood as Queensland's flood recovery coordinator. Jake is no stranger to Queensland having served at some of the highest ranks, Ms. Palaszczuk said. He had no hesitation when we asked him to do this job, and it is absolutely a huge job. Major General Jake Elwood will be Queensland's flood recovery coordinator. Major General Elwood said his heart went out to the affected communities. I must say I did feel that you see the very best of Australians at the worst of times, and I think looking around we see that here," he said. So for me now straight after this, what I want to do is get out on the ground and to talk to people, to understand the issues, to understand the environment so that we can make sure that we're prioritising things correctly, because that that is important. It is a tough time for Queenslanders and for some, this comes on the back of a number of other disasters. There are going to be hurdles, there will be obstacles, but together we will overcome it. I commit to you that I'll do my very best in this appointment. Major General Elwood's appointment was fantastic, Defence Minister Peter Dutton said. He will provide that coordination and that assistance to help Queenslanders get back on their feet as quickly as possible, he said. He has 30 years worth of service to our country, he served overseas in Kosovo, where he was recognised with a special recognition there from the British forces. He has served in Iraq where he received the Distinguished Service Cross. He has led the men and women of the Australian Defence Force during his entire three-decade career. He's been an inspiration to many people who have worked under him.